The, uh, the next user we're going to bring up is, uh, is a company called Digital Film Tree. And, uh, and this is a, a move from, from individual creatives to big budget media. And this is uh, going to be an exciting session um, that, uh, that we're going to have brought to us by the CTO of Digital Film Tree, Guillaume Obishan. So I know it's an odd place to start, but I want to talk about faith for a second. And I want to talk about faith because we have an issue in our industry right now. And that fact is that we all have clouds. We as a post facility have clouds. Um, as a VFX, and, and, and as we distribute content to a VFX facility or a sound facility, even back to a content owner like Warner Brothers or ABC or Disney, everyone has a cloud. The content owner, even individual companies, have siloed clouds within that company as they distribute back to archive and distribution. And then finally, once we get to digital distribution, we have Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, all these clouds that we're distributing feature films and television to. As, we, as content flows through all these clouds, these security needs are changing, and the financial needs are changing. So we have to have some faith that, that there's going to be a fundamental change in our industry, because in reality, none of these clouds are connected. So, we had to embrace an idea and, and not only look at, at our challenges as a business, but our challenges as the entertainment industry, as a community. So we want to talk about what our future cloud is, because our future cloud isn't our siloed cloud. It's a community martini. So, as we looked for a solution to, to not only embrace cloud, but embrace, embrace cloud from a community perspective, we were looking for something that had open standards. So we could incorporate multiple software vendors. We didn't feel like we needed to accelerate or, or, or push an ideology that was only our own, something that was open. We needed to share metadata through APIs with multiple software entities that were building their own clouds. And we did an easy way to have templating so that people who were not necessarily familiar with standing up their own clouds could share um, a cloud, a common cloud infrastructure. Security was very important to us, and it's very important to the entertainment industry as a whole. So, we wanted one user identity, this idea of federated identity, so that we could have a single user, a single authenticated user. We would know that user from, from private cloud to public cloud and back to private cloud. And also, the idea that you could migrate that identity so that all these interconnected clouds could, could know who would have permission to a given asset. And we had to have ease of migration. So once we started to talk about private cloud, public cloud, and content flowing between private cloud and public cloud throughout a cycle of production on a television or film, we needed that ease of migration. For us, the key to our business is a file's journey, a file's journey from camera and acquisition through 
cr the creative process and editorial and manipulating that content into, f into final distribution. So really, it's a files journey. And that files journey is important when you start to talk about pub public and private cloud and how that flows from one aspect to the next. And really, in the end, it was deployment, deployment, deployment. We're the entertainment industry. We're not, we're not an industry of smart people like you in the audience. We're, an we're simple people with simple needs. And the bottom line is we're creative people. So we needed a way to package deployment in a way that a studio or a content creator could deploy themselves. And really, at the end of the day, what we ended up with was OpenStack as a private cloud and Rackspace as our public cloud. So, and we're sharing content between the two. And an example of that is a little unaired clip from Modern Family. I didn't know what you wanted to drink, so I just got you this soda. Oh, that's fine, thank you. Cam, what did you do? I did exactly what you did, because I know you so well. I didn't shake the soda. Then you have nothing to worry about, so go ahead and open it. I shook it, okay? I shook the soda. I shook it up. Are you happy? It was petty and stupid and awful. I'm sorry. Damn it. So currently, we're running our video streaming software on both a private and public OpenStack. And Modern Family has done that way. We did a feature this year called Her, which also used our software. And really, what this software is, is it's collaboration software. So when we think about cloud, or we go out to a, an individual or a studio and talk about what cloud means to us, cloud means collaboration. It means creative collaboration. And with that, I really want to thank you, the developers. And I owe you all a big hug. Every single one of you who contributes to OpenStack, I owe you all a hug. So you have one free voucher for one hug from me, if you see me in the hallway. So you know, we, we, we are deeply indebted and are gratefully contributing back and encouraging this idea of open source within the entertainment industry. Thank you very much. Thank you, Guillaume. So, um, you know, a lot of people say that hybrid cloud is, uh, is, is just a myth, but you guys are doing it. Absolutely. That's great. That, that clip, I, I didn't recognize that clip. What, what episode is that from? That's from episode, season five, episode six, which has yet to air this year. Wow, okay. So you guys saw, saw it here first, unaired footage from Modern Family. So thank you, Guillaume, and, and thank you, Fox, for letting us use that as well. Thank you very much. Thanks.